Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain, and welcome back to another episode of Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Where we last left off was we basically got out of the, uh, the Death Valley area of things that was like where the uh, the silver box of Ishiki, I think was the name of it, was supposedly su supposedly like found be found in that space, but then it was missing somehow, the silver box. Uh, so we are going to... Uh, I forgot her name already. Damn it. Names are so hard in this game <laughs> for me. I know La Laura and Jonah because the, those characters have been recurring for the past two other games. And, and this one's being their third. But I just don't remember everybody's name. So I apologize if, if I'm still forgetting their name. I think it was like Uratu or something like that. I, I think um, we're supposed to meet the mother basically. The rebel mother. But uh, again... As I said, she should be captured, but in the sense that we don't know what's going to happen now uh, is a problem because I don't know what's going to happen next because it seems like we didn't find the box and potentially the enemies already have the box and stuff. Um, why did I spawn here? I have no clue. I think they might have just had it where the last checkpoint uh, was where they saved it, but I think the materials that I picked up and everything was... Uh, was grabbed, I believe. I'm pretty sure they, they saved on me grabbing... On grabbing the, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Those, those items for the upgrades for my gears, I think. What is this? Survivor cache. You know what? I'll pick up some survivor cache as we're, we're going about this here. I'm guessing this guy's still playing with his, uh, his dice. Again. Uh, oh, there it is. Survivor cash. Let's grab a survivor cash as we are here anyways. Might as well. Um, yeah, otherwise, yeah, we're just exploring the hidden city for a little bit before we, we head over to the guy we need to get to, I think. Yeah, we need to go back up to the top. Uh, because apparently Jonah says something is going down in that home base of theirs, so... We're gonna head Laura, over. If you can hear me. I'm here. We're not at Unuratus. We're in a cave nearby. The entrance is marked with a heron and an eclipse. On my way. Oh, a heron and an eclipse. Point of interest. Oh, I see, I see. It's on the map already, sort of. I'm also... I do want to apologize if you guys hear the rumbling of the window. Like, uh, winds are been heavy these days. Uh... In, in Cali, it's been it's been quite the winter here. I guess I would say, weirdly a uh, an awkward uh, late winter season running through the, the the state. I guess pretty pretty sad, but it's what it is. I guess. Um, but my window is not super like stable. I guess in a sense, I don't really know why. It's probably because it's built that way. Anyways, let's go to the point of interest, uh, because apparently we need to go up there to... Oh, what is this? Hi a health, okay. Yeah, I think these are just... Oh, that's not a health item. I thought that was like a health herb, but it's not. Health herb. Herb, herb health. This is another her herb. Herb, herb. Uh, what's the... Oh, I passed it. My bad. I'm not too familiar with where they're telling me to go, so we're just gonna... Oh, is this... Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know there was a tiny space here all this time. This is interesting because I never really realized it, even though I walked by here several times already. I'm pretty sure I walked several times here already. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe they could provide support. Do you have it? It was a trap. The box was taken and... Unaratu was captured. We heard. We're working on a plan. She's being held at the prison by the old temple. I can't let her raid, and was taken too. We'll charge the bridge that leads to the prison. It's aggressive. What if I climb up here, free her, and then signal to attack? That could work. Let's leave scouting the temple in the upper district. You could find your way in. I'll go talk to him. We'll have backup ready once you get her out. Sounds good. Hmm? Huh? For strength and safety. Oh, the helmet. Thank you, Laura. I'll get her out. I've come to the realization that, like, 
I actually don't know where the end game is. <laughs> like personally, I feel like Rise of the Tomb Raider had a, a, a feeling of end game kind of style of things. What is this? Just randomly just shows up. What is this? Lara. Yes? I am Korianka. Unuratu has spoken very highly of you. I was the one who opened the way to the old barracks when Etsy was captured. Oh. You played a part in that as well. We are sisters of the same cause. Uh huh. Ah, I see. Your tattoo, are you. one of the shorn ones, yes. But that was another life. Before Amaru, when we stood for something else. He dissolved my order in favor of his priests. I am all that is left. But I swore an oath. Never take a step backwards in battle. Mm. So now I wear the colors of the rebellion. I am duty bound to Queen Unuratu. Well, the reputation of the Shorn Ones is well known to me. Historically speaking, mm. it's an honor. <laughs> You're too kind. I heard you speak of Emperor Sinchi Chika. Yes, the first emperor of Paititi. He is Unuratu's ancestor. He made this age everything we see, touch, smell, everything we fight for now. I've never heard of this shield before, the... The shield of the age maker. Mm. It is the evidence this rebellion needs that Unuratu is the one to lead Paititi into the next age. Inscribed on the shield is the ordination ritual. The ritual will prove Queen Unuratu is the next age maker. That only she may create destiny, and not that false god, Amaru. And where is the shield? Hidden. Deep within the mountain, beyond the path of Huracan. The path of Huracan? It is a trial, designed to test all those who seek the shield. You've already tried. That was my mission before Etsli was captured. Oh. Unfortunately, I had to divert. Since his rescue, the cult knows we're planning something, so... Now I must prepare our fighters, and the shield must wait. Only I fear that if we wait too long, Amaru may get to it first and deny Unuratu's claim. If Amaru gets the shield, he can unite Paititi behind whatever story he chooses and proclaim himself the Age Maker. He'll remake the world as he sees fit. Yes. That can't happen. I was hoping you would say that. That's my friend over there with Uchu. His name's Jonah. I'll contact him if I find anything. I'll stay close to him. Thank you, Lara. Huh. I think she's ki kind of like a DLC thing, the Age Makers. Yeah, I think this is like a quest that's part of the DLC that was, uh, that was part of the Definitive Edition, I think. I might be wrong. But it seems like it because of the icon that I saw. A six-point mace cast from copper with an embedded axe blade a fearsome weapon huh okay i'm not a big fan of this outfit though primarily because the uh the points of the the mask is way too like far reaching Hmm. Alright. I was looking for the campfire because it did say oh, it is. I was like, where's the campfire? I should have done something. Now Unuratu is captured. You did all you could. And the other rebels. They'll make an example of them. We can't focus on that right now. Yeah, I don't want them to fall into prey for that. Alright, what does this outfit give me anyways? Like, what kind of... Wait. So you're telling me the Serpent Guard is given to me, but it's just a tunic with no abilities. That kind of sucks a little bit, I guess. Like, at least this thing has some health ability stuff like that, but... I don't know. I'm starting to get to the point where I kind of want to change outfits completely. But I think that the reason why uh, 
the reason why the outfits are here in the way that they are given to us is because they want us to not focus on the fightings and stuff like that yet because this area does not allow for it. Crafting additional ammo, projectile resistance, take less damage from bullets and arrows. Mm, yeah, I might, I might wear this for now, but I don't like it because the mask is getting in the way with the cutscenes for people's faces, and I like to use my thumbnails on cutscenes like this, but I don't think I want to be bothered with it, I guess. Dragon scales. I want to do something that's just not too fancy and like... Okay, I'll take with this for now, I guess. Can I? How do I rotate? Re? It looks like there's mud on her arms, or maybe a tattoo kind of thing on the arms. Looks fascinating. Uh, what is this one? I'll stick with this one for now. Dragon Scales looks nice. Um, and then when the next thing comes up, then I'll probably, like, for sure go and, uh... I'll probably go for sure and, like... Get, like, whatever that outfit may be, if there is any. Like, if there's ones that gets replaced or something. To, to fit the whatever needs it is. I wonder if this leads to anywhere, because it feels like there could be some secrets down here somewhere. Seems like there is a thing over here for jades, it looks like. Yeah, because I don't want to deal with, like, something that's going to look too looks too much like in the way with like cutscenes and stuff so mine as well but it looks cool like it looks very uh looks like it's part of that like culture of the of the city with the whole mask and stuff all right so this lady will forever be here just to talk thank you again lara the rebellion must have the shield of the age maker i just hope we're not too late yeah so we'll do that at a later stage. Right now I'm just wanting to just visit and ch check around and stuff like that. Is this a merchant? Have more rebels been captured? Ishiki, maybe you can help. Hmm. I sent five men to steal the cult of Kukulkan's weapons for the rebellion, but the mission failed. Ooh. In former times I would have led them myself, but now I can't fight. I can't even run, or else I start to cough up blood. Uh. But I'm still a good planner, or I was until today. My comrades were caught and strung on posts throughout the lower village as a warning. They're uh, going to hang there until they die. Yikes. You said I might be able to help. Yes. With your serpent card attire, you can untie all four of them and no one will suspect you. Oh. Four? You said there were five men on the mission. I'll be dead. There were. Kolki was leading them, but he wasn't captured along with the others. Oh. Nobody's seen him. He's probably been killed. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so that, that, the Serpent Guard outfit, which now makes sense for what that is. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, I'll do the quest, but I want to, like, I really don't like that it's, gosh, okay, let's switch over to that outfit again. I really dislike the fact that I have that, I need to have that outfit to, to disguise myself. I don't, I don't know if it would work otherwise, but it just would have, it just sucks a lot. Anyways, let's get going. Let's get out of here. I guess we're here to disguise ourselves, which... Sorry, kid. I bumped into the kid by accident. Uh, which, I kind of think that the... Uh, this outfit does actually work, I feel like. Because it doesn't. It really does conceal... Lara's, like, silhouette of, like, how she looks and everything. Because all the dudes are, like... In a similar style of, like, muscularity. And she's pretty well, like suited for it in a sense too not to say it's i'm not trying to be offensive or anything i do apologize if it comes off across as that way for laura that is but yeah all right cool the interesting part is that you can still tell it's somebody else if you look from the back but if you look at the front it looks difficult for them to know if it's one of their own or not but yeah anyways uh i wanted to Zip line down, but it seems like it's not a. Oh, never mind. It just magnetized me down to that spot. I'll take it. All right, where are we headed? Uh, over there. But I want to see where the side quest would be at. What is this? Base camp for Skull Cave. That's Skull Cave. Okay, cool. That makes a lot of sense. 
That's that. Where is the uh, the quest? They say that the, the thing is in the city, right? Free the rebels. I want to see where this is. And then there's the pillar, which is the age maker. No, I want to. No, I want to follow. Okay, whatever. I wanted to follow the other thing, but it seems like it's probably scattered in a way. Yeah, because it's looking like the the whole side quest is scattered everywhere in the whole city. I think. So I think that's probably what it is. Is like they're scattered and they're they're anywhere and everywhere that I can find them at. It seems like. But I need to be like as the guard kind of thing. What is this? Oh, that's somebody I can talk to, I guess. What's over here? Nobody I can bother with. Looks like there's a little thing here that I can grab a hold of. Is this a shallow waters pool? Looks like it is. Oh, wait, there's something in here, isn't it? No, it's never mind. It looks like something was there. I thought it was something there, but it, it technically just looks like a, a space that's in the back just for detail, I guess. Alright, how do I know if I if I can find those guys? Uh, I think we need to go maybe to the top where all those people were at, where they were listening to folks and stuff. I would think, because I feel like those are the... I think that's the the spot that was mostly crowded with folks who would get punished and stuff. Like, it's a public forum space that's... whatever it is. Hey, I'll take it. Give me your leathers. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, we need to go, like, all the way to the top to this one little area here. Right? This is it? The space where they would at least... Try to do weird things, I guess. No, I don't need to talk to him. I'm still not sure where the heck... Can I... Oh, I already examined this, yeah. I, I thought I didn't examine it. Yeah, see, look. <laughs> I guess they're just bigger than our character, but honestly... I thought at least, like, we could be, like, close to whatever it is, but whatever. Or is the rebels inside the... Maybe the rebels are inside the castle, maybe? Oh, no. Okay, okay. Scared me. I thought I was gonna <laughs> get wrecked because of the fact of how, how far that was a fall. Depending on how far that fall was. Yeah, I forgot this is an area that I can't get up to. I'm trying to climb up to this top part still, but I think that you need to like... You need to have like something to swing onto or something, maybe. Still not sure how to climb up to the top there. But I am seeing a, uh, a zip line over here. Can you climb up this thing? This tree? Oops. No, you can't, it looks like. Okay. Whatever. Oh, there's a leather... Re the leather has respawned. I think some of these pelts have been respawning every now and then, but I never pay attention to them because of the way they are placed, but yeah. Alright, I think the rebels are inside the castle itself, so I think that's where we need to head to. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Damn it! Why the hell did they not update it till now? The heck, dude? Seriously. That's annoying. So there's one nearby here. Oh, there he is. I was like, where the heck is... Uh, okay, there we go. Let's release this guy. Your time. I'll never tell you anything. I'm not here to interrogate you. I'm here to free you. Bribery? Life as a traitor would be worse than death. I'm sure it would, but I'm a friend. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. You and your friends are safe. No, the cult was expecting us. A spy has infiltrated the rebellion. Oh. Oh, maybe the guy who, who didn't get caught was the spy, maybe. Ooh, that's a cool conspiracy idea there. <laughs> or not conspiracy, but like a good, like a cool like idea that they had a group, but then one of them betrayed them, which is interesting. All right, let's move up to the top here. It seems I was right that it was like in the upper areas here, maybe, I think. Yeah, we just need to... 
find them, I guess, I'd rather say. So I was kind of right that the guy that... The, or the, the rebels are caught up in some places up here because... You know... You know that's how it goes, you know? I'm wondering if the... Oh. Father. Father. Soon we will be... Am I in the afterlife? <laughs> Are you a spirit? No. No, I'm very much alive, as are you. <laughs> a mortal and an immortal. Let's get him out. He's insane. There, you're free to go. Yes. I have been liberated. This guy's a little bit cuckoo heads right now because of how much he starved and thirst, I guess. Alright, let's get up here. I think this is like the shortcut to get to whoever this one person is. Checking the map. Yeah, it's like a little shortcut up to the top here. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's keep moving up. I think we need to go all the way to the top here. I'm cool. Gowards. Oh. All of us. I knew it. This spot was like empty last time. Now it's just randomly a person this here. This <laughs> is what we deserve for failing so miserably. Don't be so rough on yourself. You'll live to fight another day. We didn't fight. We gave up when we were surrounded. Oh. Marched off to die without a single drop of blood on the ground. That's good to hear. That means they never actually killed anyone to begin with, or hurt anyone yet. So they did kind of fall into a trap because the leader led them into one, maybe. So I do think it is the guy, the guy that the uh, that the one dude was saying how he never was caught, and they sent they said that he was he was killed, but he was probably not killed. My dude. Wait, there's a guard right here. What the hell did he not notice me take that guy out or pull him out of his his <laughs> his little like uh, trappings there? I don't get how you would not notice me just do that, like not far from that spot. <laughs> but yeah, I do think their leader betrayed them because. Uh... Wait, I can't. Walk. Why can't I run through here? What? Oh, maybe because I'm seen as like a. The guard that they just were like annoyed with me or something. I think that's probably what happened is like they saw me as a guard and they just didn't like me and they just said, hey, back out, <laughs> back off. Oh, my bad. We're getting closer, so it's a little bit to the left here, I think. It sucks because as a guard, you can't really access a few things here and there, so it kind of sucks a little bit. I see a pelt. I see a pelt and some money. Randomly kind of respawning some gold again. Honestly, I don't really anticipate these things respawning, but they do apparently. May they all be cursed. <laughs> Have you come to finally kill me? I'm not with the cult. I'm a friend here to free you. That's an effective disguise. Can you use it to free the others and find Kolkwi? I hope so, but I don't know what happened to him. He's alive. Kolkwi's alive. In the confusion, I heard him shout, ordering a retreat. I'm sure he's alive. He's probably evil, though. All right, let's return to Poma, and apparently there's a stash here. Or cash, rather. All right, let's go. Let's go back to the guy and see what he has to say. I'm wondering if... What happens if there was a guard who's dressed up just like me, walking in there and being like... Wouldn't that be a terrible, like, thing, though? Like, to their surprise? To their surprise, like, oh, wait, who's this person? Like, this is not Laura, the, who's dressed like one of them. <laughs> like, imagine one of the guards just finding the secret space and just, like, doing exactly what I would do usually. Just walk in, like, nonchalant and just, like, casually, like, casually, like, be amongst them or something. Oh, I freaking brush past it jeez honestly when games do this where they put small spaces as their way to like there it is if a game puts a small crevice as a hideout space it needs to be more clear than like a small crevice i don't care if it's just a painted thing there it's literally white on white almost Clearly, there's something wrong with people who thinks that this is always a bright idea. I don't like that because it's like it, it should be not white on whitish rock. It should be like black 
on whitish rock or something. Like, something to symbolize it more easily. Or maybe put in, like, a bigger, like, something on the side. Because I feel like there's just... It's... Everything looks kind of almost same-ish in that area. Like, it's always rocks on rocks on rocks on rocks. And then there's, like, barely much foliage that kind of says anything much. So I'm concerned that if people were, like, to see... Find that particular space, it's not highlighting it definitively. I mean, it's... Effectively, narratively, it makes sense to be concealed. But... Uh, but as a player, it I think as a player, you don't need to care too much about the fact because the players won't question it unless they really want to question it in a way or try to find a creative solution to that problem of like making sure players can notice that that's a thing there because I don't want to be revisiting the map back and forth. I've been revisiting the map just to look for like side mission locations or main point locations that I want to find and I feel like it would be better detailed without having to use the map if you know if you really kind of know the generalized area but maybe it gets maybe i need to get used to knowing where the skull cave is but jeez dude hard to find i freed your friends and there's more good news Colqui is alive excuse me he was in the lead when the others were surrounded he shouted a warning and ran away oh that's excellent there is one concern you may have a traitor in the rebellion i know we do I learned who he was while you were gone. Oh. And I'm going to personally see he gets what he deserves. All right. Okay, so... Here, take this as a thank you. I appreciate all your help. So... If you're right about Kolkwi, he would have gone to the mountain safe house. Uh... Can you go find him, please? Let him know we have retreated to Skull Cave. I'll find him. Okay, so that's... Ooh, Vestige. Charamaka Greaves. I think that's how it's pronounced. Save Kolkwi. Okay. All right, I'll probably save Kloqui at a later stage. I did get a skill point, but I'm probably going to save that skill point for another time because I don't need... I don't have enough skill points for the ones I want. I need to have like two or three at least to get some skill points or to get the, the abilities I would like to get. All right, let's see the map here. So we got a new mission under the, the main side quest called Freedom. So we got Kiloqui, which is... Where is this guy? He's over here at the safe house is what they're calling it. Is that really a safe house though? I'm kind of confused that that's a safe house. I mean, I can try getting to the guy, but... Time is kind of short now at this point. There's no fast travel either, I think, for this particular space. So it's going to be a little bit more rougher for me. So, yeah, let's make it there, and then I'll probably end the episode, unfortunately. I would love to see how to get to Kiloqui without having to hurt myself, but it's not easy nonetheless, so it's whatever. Right, there we go. Magnetization for the win. So, yeah, otherwise, I think that, uh, I think Kiloqui is gu guilty, but I might be wrong. He's, he did say he found somebody who was the traitor in the group, but it kind of feels weird to be like thinking that he knows who it is and then kind of acting on it I guess anyways uh, that little thing looks kind of like weird it was like a smoking emitted like little plant looking thing to me for some reason all right cool so anyways uh, thank you guys for watching I'll probably end it here a little bit early based on where I land once I get to that space but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. Good night to everyone watching this. Uh, next episode, we're going to go ahead and start off with finding Kiloqui, uh, who's potentially at the top parts of the mountain here, hopefully. Oh, that's interesting. I can actually climb up here. Can I... No, it won't let me jump to it, I guess. Yeah, there's the lady who was talking about her... Her, her stuff that she's building out. I think the mountain safe house is like around the area up above here, but I'll probably look into that as we go. What the heck am I supposed to do? Okay, it's just gonna let me slide down that way. I'll probably try that in another episode. We'll see. So we're gonna go up all the way to the top here. This is where the safe house... The safe house probably is further up ahead, but anyways. Thank you guys for watching. That'll be it for me in this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Roz, out.